And welcome in Bison Nation, our game day preview, North Dakota State and Western Illinois, Missouri Valley Football Conference play. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen here with you. And wow, Jeremy, a strong finish in that fourth quarter in Cedar Falls, the big win at Northern Iowa last weekend. I'd like to flip that around, get going a little bit quicker on Saturday against Western Illinois. Yeah, the Bison have some momentum uh, defensively coming out of the second half, no question. I think teams save things for the Bison, makes it hard to get off to a fast start. But I think this game, it really is important to get out in front of Western Illinois and uh, not let them feel like they have a chance. Aaron Steidel, Marquise Bridges, talk about that fast start and communicating better on defense. Communication has been an issue for us the past couple of games. Uh, we've been working on it in practice, more nonverbal signals and stuff like that. Coming into the practice this week, I think our communication has been a lot better than the past two weeks. We've learned from our mistakes. We learned what we're doing wrong. You know, once we do something wrong once, we learn from it, and it's not going to happen again. Just talking every play, you know, little stuff like hand signals and communication before pre-snap and then knowing what routes we're going to get and telling each other what we're going to see and what we see on film and stuff like that before the play. A big challenge for Code Green coming up is going to be this Leatherneck offense led by quarterback Sean McGuire and running back Steve McShane. And McGuire against Illinois State became the all-time leading passer and leader in passing touchdowns in Leatherneck history. He really makes them go. The passing game, very important for Western. Yeah, they have great players on offense. Uh, McGuire's great. Uh, their skill positions, a lot of speed in the skill positions. Their offensive line is the one big question mark. Three redshirt freshmen, a sophomore. They lost a lot of guys out of that unit last year, but still, this is a very potent offense. Here's the head coach, Chris Kleiman, also Jabril Cox, talking about that challenge coming up versus the Leathernecks. Really impressed with McGuire. He's a guy that uh, I, w I like watching on film. I don't like watching live because he's a really good football Football player, he's got tremendous poise. Um, he doesn't get rattled. We're just going to stick to what we do. Uh, I know it's going to be harder to try to disguise things because he's been uh, playing us for three years straight, so he kind of knows us in our system. So we're just going to have to stick to what we do and just execute. It's a 6 p.m. kick, nighttime kick in Macomb. And the Bison, when they've gone to Western, they've faced some challenges there. Talk about what's important in your mind. Well, I think uh, very much like the Northern Iowa game, put some points up on the board. Take the pressure off of the defense, which has their hands full with this Western Illinois offense. Offensively for the Bison, continue to do what they were doing because it worked very well against Northern Iowa. And Western's been giving up some points. Yep. Night game again, 6 p.m. Central time kick as the Bison head to Macomb, Illinois. For Jeremy Jorgensen, I'm Jeff Colhane. Big thanks to Rich Grossman. This has been our game day preview of Western Illinois.